Hello, happy people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the Margaret St. Clair short story, New Ritual, which was published in 1953 uh, and from Mercury Press Incorporated. Um, it's the first short story that we've looked at that she published in 1953. We've done this, my my short story collection, the best of. Uh, we've been doing a deep dive into, and I'll link you to it in the comments below in case you're interested in following along. Uh, she's she's definitely, most of the things in here are on the science fiction side of things. Uh, now she's somebody who has come across my desk uh, and I'm doing a deep dive into her stuff uh, because uh, she is somebody that um, I came across on Gary Gygax's uh, famous Appendix N. Um, it's, it's a, he list has, has a list of appendices at the end of his Dungeon Master's Guide in 1979, the first uh, DMG uh, for the first edition of Dungeons and Dragons. In this case, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And there he and then he, he has the normal appendices that have like tables and that sort of thing. Um, and then he has this section called the Appendix N, um, which is designed uh, to give people a place. Uh, to go to both as a, as a source of references. These are the ones that influenced his game uh, and that he had a lot of pleasure reading from. Um, and then secondly, as inspirational reading for you to go to, uh, to read more things about it. So we'll be taking a look at the science fiction-ish a uh, short story, uh, new, new Rituals. Now this is really more speculative fiction. The science fiction in it is loose. It's a contemporary short story set in modern day in like 1953. Um, it's set in, the, in, 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 in a rural place, basically what winds up happening. This is our key point of view character, um, is this wife, she's 33 for this farm, uh, and she's been married to her husband for a few years now. He's a lot older than her. He's not somebody who talks that much. Um, and she's been trying to get him to open up and talk more about things in his life that he cares about, whether it's politics or food or the club that he's a part of, and it's not happening. And uh, so she, she winds up buying this deep freeze secondhand uh, from, this, uh, from, from this sale, from an estate sale from a, from a, from a local person, and it still works. Uh, and then she has, uh, she's putting away some apricots that she's been, uh, she's been uh, basically canning, uh, except she's not putting them in cans or jars. She's basically putting them um, and putting them ready for this deep freeze that she bought. And then, surprise, surprise, the first she, she goes into there to put in some more apricots, and the first apricots that she put in there like an hour and a half ago are now blueberries. And she'd been thinking about the fact that her husband... I really liked, had mentioned like a long time ago that he really liked his mother's blueberry pie, but she was thinking that blueberries don't grow in this area. Uh, it's not the right temperature, it's not the right thing. Maybe she could find some canned blueberries in like the store, maybe make some blueberry pie. Maybe this would get him a chance to talk about himself and things that he enjoyed again. Um, and now she's got real blueberries that have been frozen um, instead of the apricots. And she's like, that's weird. So she makes some blueberry pie and that night her husband has two slices of blueberry pie. Uh, but still doesn't talk that much. Um, now we're about three pages into about a 10 page short story. So I'll, I'll hold off there, but that's the basic idea. Uh, there is this deep freeze that she bought secondhand from an estate sale and some weird things uh, start to happen. And that, that's it. That's, that's the short story. It's, it's an interesting central conceit to it. Um, it's not something that I've come across before. Um, you know, a freezer. Um, I just finished this short story a day after uh, reading the short story about the, the egg a day club. Um, for in, set in the science fiction world where this person's getting eggs a day from, from, from far off planets like Mars and Venus and, in, and, and interstellar places and he gets a, an egg from a moon, that, a little known moon of a far flung star. And uh, that's the central premise of that. And that's also sort of interesting to me. I think it's interesting that both of these feel like they're more down to earth a style short uh, science fiction short stories to read back to back in this collection uh, and back to back days they both have sort of you know one's, one's about eggs and the other's about uh, fridges um, uh, so they both have you know that sort of an interesting feel to them uh, that I really enjoy uh, this is definitely a strong short story and I like the central conceit of this fridge uh, I'm sorry the deep freeze rather that has this special thing that's happening to it um, and I like it a lot I'm giving this a, a 7 out of 10 it's definitely a strong, strong short story. I definitely would encourage you to read it. Um, so there you go. Have you read New Rituals by Margaret St. Clair? If so, what did you think? Uh, did you, would you like to talk about the spoilers uh, with, with me about it? I tried to keep my review spoiler free. I only did the first three, three pages of a 10-page uh, short story. 
I'd be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below, whatever your take is of the short story or your opinion of my take on the short story is. Um, if you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? Because there's going to be a lot more of these to follow in to come. Uh, and then if you enjoyed, then I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling. And I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.